Hello and welcome back to another video here in my channel. Today we are playing Scrap Mechanic and I am going to show off a car I built. It's representing how a real car works and I'm going to walk you through how the engine, the transmission, the differential and the suspension works and also show you some of the other features. So let's begin. So first you can toggle the engine by pressing the 1 button and this starts the engine if you have enough fuel. So if you don't have enough fuel you can press the 7 button to refuel your car. If you have a tracker block with the frequency of 42 in the radius of 20 blocks. If you don't have any tracker blocks you can refill at any time and you can also bypass the fuel by pressing the 6 button. If we now toggle the engine on, we have 2 for resetting the gears, 3 for forward gear, and then 4 is our faster forward gear, but because it is because it's going from 2 to f because the second gear is rotating 2 to 1, the game can't run the transmission at higher speeds. And then our last gear, the gear number 3, which is reverse, makes your car go in reverse. So A and D controls the steering, just by normal bearings. And then W and S makes you go faster and slower. So if we press W, you can see here in the left gauge, it speeds up. So if we go to gear 1, you can see it speeds up, and the engine also does it. And when we slow down on S, it slows down. So the gauge to our right is how much fuel we have left, so you see we have more than half our tank full. So if we just turn around here and go back to our little tracker, because now if we press number 7 you see it doesn't go up, but if we come into radius of the tracker it will go up. So the fuel depletion system is directly connected to our speed, so if we go at a faster speed it drains faster can change the tank size on the car and how fast it will drain and also how fast it refuels. So if we now come here to our little tracker or refuel station and we slow down you can see that the little block here lights up this block which means you can charge so if we press button number seven you can see it recharges and our meter is going up here so if you look at the right gauge you see it's going up. So this car is very laggy because I have so many gears, so I wouldn't recommend having this in a, in a world where you play. So I made a smaller version that bypasses the transmission and only goes from the engine to the differential. It still has the suspension, um, but doesn't have the transmission. And I've also built it a bit longer, so it seems more realistic than this square. So let's take a look at that. Right, so now we're in the second world with our other car, and you see it is a lot less laggy. So if we just press number one, you can see the ga gauge. Gauge. You can see our gauge has reset, and we're driving very slow. Um, but you see now there is no transmission, so we don't have a reverse either. This car can go a lot faster, so if we press hold W, you can see our speed is going up, and our gauge, and our right gauge, fuel gauge, is going down fast. So now our fuel has depleted, and since there are no fuel stations in this world, we could just refuel. And now we're full, so we can continue. A, a normal piston car cannot go as quickly as we'd like to. So I added some math to the back um, to basically do estimate where it's going to be after the delay of all the math blocks. I added a degrees to the output of our orient blocks, exometers, to compensate for the delay that the math block has. So that's how it works, but then you had to do some flooring and that had more delay, but I got it working at last. So this piston engine can actually go up to speed of 40. Normal, without it, it could only go up to around 10. So this is a very fast piston engine. 
and I'm planning to do a plane based on this, but have the uh, pistons centered so it isn't so of balance that this is. Um, and then the plane will be totally driven by pistons going back and forth. And hopefully that will be a lot faster because you don't have to have a differential in between. So we can go insanely fast. <laughs> So the differential is basically how it works in real life. It is a drive axle, I could just pause the anime. It's the drive axle going into gears, transmitting power over here. And so this is connected to this thing in the middle, so it all spins when I turn the, the engine on. But then this this gear can rotate freely, so this wheel needs a bit more power. For example, if it's the outer wheel in a turn, it will get the more power because this gear in the middle can spin around freely. So then it translates to this, which we have a axle here that can rotate freely with a piston that is that can change length as it likes because it has zero in power. And then this goes to a suspension piece here held in place by this kind of anchor point. Anchor point. And then it goes to the wheel. So th I think this is how a real suspension works, except you don't have a variable length rod here. Um, they just have a fixed length that then pushes down on and in. But the rest of it is pretty accurate because especially the differential is basically how Wikipedia says it's working. Uh, and I know the engine isn't totally realistic because you don't have these cylinders firing in that way but I would say it's pretty accurate to what you would normally have and then you have the fuel system that depends on how fast you're going and yeah I think it makes for a pretty realistic car so I will upload this and the other car to the workshop and I would recommend using this because well it's a bit better with the lag so for example now I get 60 fps which is pretty decent, but I guess if we spawn another one of these... So if we spawn another car, I guess it's also okay, just that they don't come too close to each other, I guess that would be... Yeah. But they are pretty non-laggy, but I get more than 100 frames per second, um, often around 180 in normal cases where I don't have this car. So it's a bit laggy, but it's, it's working. And I could also upload the the workings of this so you can build your own car with it. And just put wheels here and then hook up your seat to the different inputs. But I think you would have to down download this car to see how the seat is hooked up to buttons and other stuff. Um, so I'm thinking of doing a airplane as I said, so if you would like to see that please subscribe so you don't miss the other video and I'm also going to show my, my piston engine here. Right so here it is, so if we just press this button and have a button for the speed and then I just hook up some number blocks. Right so now we are on speed 3, so if we just take this to around 10 you see it's working pretty good um, but if I just do some small adjustments right so this is without our math that I've made so you can see it's not very fluent in this way well now it is because we have it on speed 3 but if we go up to higher for example 6 here it's a bit twitchy and then at 10 it's basically non-functional so if we rehook our normal circuit to here, like this, you can see now we can achieve a speed of 10, no problem. And we can actually go up to, I believe, up to 45. So now at speed 20, we should maybe wield this. Right, so now we're at speed 20, and we can go all the way up to 30. So the problem with having it on such high speed and having a lot of friction and weird action as with the gears, you can sometimes stop and then when it, if it's at high speeds it will just 
like freak out. So now we have our pipes and three wheels connected and you can see it runs smoother. At the only point of which it's stuck to the build it's here it's here so it can get a bit flimsy sometimes but it's good most of the time. So you can see already we fly a bit. Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty fast. I think it's like nearly faster than a normal engine. But we can of course make this even faster. So if we go to 40 it works <laughs> pretty good still. But I think 45 is the upper limit of which it stops functioning. So of course this is how fast it will go in a plane but you can't achieve that with the gears. So I will have all of these linked in the description below and you could make your own car out of this. So I guess it works on speed 50. But <laughs> so yeah, I will see you in the next video when we hopefully have our plane ready. So thank you for watching and I will see you another time. Bye bye.